Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues playing as the Enclave. So it's been a long time since I've actually played with the Enclave Reborn mod. Let's take off historical AI focuses. Everything's going to be random. I have no idea what's going to happen. Maybe we'll have a Time Wizard come out. Maybe we'll have, I don't know, Vulpus win the Civil War in the Legion. I don't know, but all I care about is that we play as the Enclave, and in this campaign... We will make Nevada home. Now, I played this mod before, the Enclave Reborn. I've re resurrected the United States before, and I'll probably play the mod again at a later date. I have plans for that. But in this campaign, we will try to make Nevada home. Now, I've never done this on the channel. I've done it off-screen once. It's fun, but this path for the Enclaves, some might not find it as enjoyable, but it's still a good path nonetheless. And actually, I also wanted to revisit this mod because I've not played Enclave Reborn with the La Resistance DLC. I've heard it's kind of difficult, but we'll see what happens. So, oh, mm, that just warms my heart. Advanced power armor. Oh, God, that just... Um, I love the Enclave power armor so much. That's, they're pretty hard, too. Uh, and we have some auxiliaries. I just have a good feeling just disbanding them immediately. But we have four research slots. I'd be surprised if we weren't advanced. Let's see. Engineering... Good, good, good. So hope you're all having a great day, my friends. Hope you're doing well. If you're not, well, hope it, it'll get better. Uh, tool procurement sounds pretty good. It's free civilian factories, really? There's no point even doing this, but we'll, we'll build them up anyways. Military factories, honestly, are probably more worth it, but we have an escape. Years ago, we managed to escape from the destruction of the main Enclave forces at Navarro. The manner in which we survived can still be felt today. Oh, God, it's been so long since I've played this mod, and I... Oh, yeah. Let's go and disable backstory decisions. I forgot they have work shift policies. Ooh. Ooh, it doesn't look good to me. Um, cool. Weekly stability. I like that one a lot. Ooh. Hold military theory committee. That looks pretty good. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get a general. Ah, uh, Lieutenant Mary Orwich. Hmm. Attack robots. Let's see. We definitely want to go reformer. That's definitely the path we want to take. Scott Blair. Sure. Colonel David something. Stevenson? Yeah, Stevenson. Oh, I remember that. Cool. Put you under Field Marshal, under Major General Grimm. So, the last time I played this was quite a while ago, and I don't exactly remember the Focus Tree path. Now we have Complete Chaos, protected by the Sierra, Sierra Army Depot. I can't train, disband, or edit units, whatever. Power armor expertise, which looks really, really good. Enclave scientists, political infighting, which we need to get rid of. Which is going to be a little bit more difficult to take out, because doing the purity route, which I haven't shown on this channel yet, I will sometime. But doing the reform is a little bit more difficult, but it's really not that difficult to do. Even though I'm going in a little blind, because it's been so long since I've actually done this. But regardless, our escape. Years ago, we managed to escape from the destruction of the main Enclave forces at Navarro. The manner in which we survived can still be felt today. We fought our way out with power armor. We lose all of our manpower. We get three divisions. We deserted before the fighting got bad, which sounds really un-Enclave-like. Escaped using vertebrates. I love gunships. I want to use gunships. Actually, do we even have it researched yet? Uh, where is it? We have them researched. I'd love to use them. We don't really need them now. So, I don't like doing this, but that 30,000 manpower, that's really nice. But our choice, Sergeant Dornan, is well respected by both reformer and purist factions within the Enclave. The Enclave needs a president, however, and the Sarge expressed disinterest in being called a Sir for the rest of his career. He works for a living, damn it! Good. We hold elections and we remove complete chaos. Ah, oh, good time. Let's let time go on. And obviously, early on, we're going to have to take out New Reno. We are on the very borders of the NCR, a rogue nation occupying American soil. We cannot deny that they would destroy us if they became fully aware of our existence. Luckily for us, the bear is blind. We can buy bureaucracy, infighting an ineffectual leader. With the right efforts made, though, we can hide under the very nose of the NCR until we are strong enough to reveal our plans, but we cannot keep them in the shadows forever. It will be harder and more difficult to conceal ourselves as time goes on. In which, our time will come soon, which is something we've got to keep in mind, but if we're doing the Nevada path, we can probably just reveal ourselves and not have too many issues, especially if we don't focus on California. Navarro Veterans looks really good. Well, eventually we're going to have to kill off 
the ends here. But that's for later. Sergeant Dornan is well respected by both the Reformer and Purist faction within the Enclave. Nonetheless, neither see him as a viable president and have presented their own candidates. The Purists have selected Franklin Anderson as their candidate, while the Reformers are led by Douglas Granite. It appears that the Purist faction has the advantage, but the support of the Sarge could still tip the scales in favor of the Reformers. Now, when I play as the Purist someday, we will go with Sergeant Dornan supports Franklin Anderson, but for now, Granite is our man. And I think I remembered one day where I said to someone who said a comment like, don't always choose a more more on path or something like that. I don't remember at this point. But regardless, our president, we have made our choice and that choice will change the future of the Enclave if, and if we are successful, America. But who really is the man we elected? The sins of the father. Oh my goodness, I don't remember. This might be the sins. He looks, he looks different than the last time I saw him. Hmm. Commander of Granite Company. So Granite's past is a controversial subject in our midst, made all the more contentious by rumors spread by purists. The cause is Granite's father and his relationship to the Chosen One. Hmm. Sounds kind of familiar to me. The purists accuse Granite's father of treason for aiding the Chosen One and destroying the oil rig, but lack any evidence. Despite the fact that he will deny these allegations as nothing but political slander, Douglas remembers clearly what his father told him about that fateful day on the oil rig. Uh, aided the Chosen One, they went their separate ways? Okay, that's not bad. He didn't aid the Chosen, which looks pretty good. Speaking of the Chosen One, let me tell you who your mother was. Mutant sympathies? Well, no, man. Before we make a decision, we, we're going to go down. I like the American Dream. I love that path so much. But home is Nevada. So we definitely want to go down that way. Conquer the Desert Rangers. Form Nevada. Support Old World Policy. State of Nevada. I love Nevada. Never been. We'll go there someday. The Benjamin Franklin Society. That looks pretty cool, actually. Create a new faction. Hmm. We'll talk about that later. I've got plans for them. Department of Defense. Cool. Uh, I really don't care for that. Douglas Youth. Douglas Youth. Non-core manpower. He didn't aid the Chosen One. Let's be real. So after traveling around with his son for a brief few years, Granite Sr. established contact with one of the Enclave civilian vaults, set up as a contingency to repopulate the American mainland after the Enclave government cleansed it. Since President Dick Richard had lifted child-rearing restrictions, the vault's population had exploded. Nonetheless, it was a safer place for a child than the wasteland. Thus, Douglas spent most of his youth in the safety of the vault. Like most children in the Enclave's vaults, Granite was raised with a fervent hatred of communism. But sadly, 200 years of Enclave propaganda and living in a vault run under a command economy meant that he and most other members of the Enclave were left with a vague understanding of what communism was. As such, Granite knew all Amer enemies of America must be a communist. Hatred of communism will play a role in future events and is necessary to unlock anti-communist propaganda. Well, that is for this path, if I do remember correctly. Organizing Babylon, the common man, cool. Rebuilding a nation, anti-communist path. I forget exactly where it's at, but the other one is his spent history class playing on his pit boy more stability. More war support. Douglas's first contact. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, oh, my goodness. Anti-communist, huh? Oh, it's all I remember this stuff down here, too. I forgot about this stuff. The Tex... The Texclave? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, but regardless, we're going to go with Spent History Class playing on his Pip-Boy. Cool. When Douglas was 17 years old, the population of the Enclave reached Vault reach the utter limits of its life support systems. As a result, a large portion of the healthy and strong were ordered to leave the safety of the vault to establish contact with the largest group of Enclave remnants, led by an old Navarro drill sergeant. Douglas, however, was quick to contact with his father's granite company instead, slipping away from the rest unseen. His father welcomed him back, giving him a position within the company, where he quickly rose to the ranks. When Douglas was a lieutenant of the Granite Defense Company, he received an emergency distress call. The message sounded desperate and came from an insert battalion... Kaiser scouts seeking new lands. Brotherhood knights containing a pre-war threat. Hmm. Now, my plans for the NCR is that I want to beat the snot out of them and then ally them. I want them to be under us. Eventually. So we'll see what happens. I'll probably conquer as much of Nevada as possible. And then we'll see what happens. But I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But NCR, we, we don't care about them. Kaiser? Sounds kind of cool. The Brotherhood knights. I'll go with Kaiser scouts, why not? So when Douglas revived with his team, the situation of the defenders had grown more dire, their battered defenses crumbling quickly under a determined but almost equally bloodied raider gang. Looking over the sad state of both parties, Douglas decided to wipe them out. Hmm. More manpower. Help them take down the raiders. Charismatic 
Oh, daily compliance gain. This will give us a connection with this faction. Learning from Kaisar, which grants more division recovery rate. I like the Justify War Goals times and the Resistance target, even though this does give us 10% here. And over here, do we have someone who can Justify any faster? Yeah, I've never actually sent volunteers in Old World Blues before, so I don't think we're going to start that. Over here, Defense Attack. Um, actually, Intellectual Support. That's not bad. Oh yeah, we definitely have those guys. Oh, I love both. We get a little bit of manpower. I already chose the manpower one. We go with Charismatic. He's a Charismatic Nev Nevadan. Sure, we'll go with that. And then, reform. If we are to rebuild our once great nation, we must reform ourselves and our principles. Sadly, many of the reformist elements have already deserted in the last few years, leaving mostly the devoted and fanatical. We will have to tread carefully in our efforts to reform the Enclave into an organization fit to restore order, justice, and democracy to these United States of America. So, first step in the long path towards the restoration of the United States of America. Very, very good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we can train some soldiers. Oh, we also have this too. That's cool. Learning from Kaisar. Very nice. Protected by the Sierra, Sierra Army Depot. Very good, very good. Hmm, we have no factories, makes sense. Uh, spec Ops, Militia might be good to hold on to because their suppression is better. So four is eight, eight, yeah, no. We're gonna hold on to these guys, we don't need that. Rapid response di division. I'm probably gonna need some Enclave Auxiliaries just in case as an army because you can only have so many, so much power armor. I don't want to do this, but that's the only way we can make our divisions better, probably. Cool. And you know what? You're going to be in a separate army. Uh, under Lieutenant Mary Orwich, which is probably going to get kicked out once we choose our reformed path. And about a week is left. Yeah, political infighting is not good for us whatsoever. Holy cow. But I... Ooh. Oh, yeah, we could bribe them. Hmm. I... Oh, how much do we get a day? 0.83 bribe officials. Costs us cap. Oh, sure, why not? It only costs 10, so that's not too bad, actually. Uh, go ahead and do that for now. That'd be fine. Whatever. And we have reforms. For the first time in centuries, our authority has extended beyond core Enclave members. Considering our previous interactions with these newfound citizens could easily be misinterpreted as attempted genocide, proving ourselves the legitimate government will take time and effort. Certain choices we will make will increase or decrease our legitimacy. Higher legitimacy comes with bonuses to our rule and allows for new choices in our focus stream. Low legitimacy will come, of course, with penalties, at least until we find a way to keep the Wastelanders loyal regardless of their opinions. You'll notice that the negative effects of our low legitimacy are currently very weak. The effects of legitimacy become more severe as our population expands beyond our core Enclave members, and it's up here. Legitimacy. I'll keep that in mind. The Enclave will tell them what to think. Well, it's 0%, 5%. We start with none, we get more political power and war support, which, hmm, eh, I'll keep that in mind, whatever. Next up, presidential victory speak, provoke the purists, we gain justifications for a crackdown. The city of crime, I want to take them out as fast as possible, not as fast as possible. I kind of want to though, hmm, suspicion will go down by minus 35, we can wait on that. Let's go ahead and do, do I want to go to war now? I mean, that is going to cost us more in the long run. Actually, how? what do I need to do to get to home as Nevada? I need to purge the opposition first. We can do that. It only takes 20 days. So with electoral victory snatched from the jaws of defeat, it is time to speak to our supporters and opponents alike about our vision of the Enclave's future. Stability, war support, for the future. Because right now, we have political infighting. And we need reformers to win. Wild promises and reformers purists. So right now we're reformers. We are intellectuals. We need to get rid of the elite, so the oligarchy. So more intellectuals is better. <clears throat> oh wow, that actually hurts our intellectual support. Wait, wild promises. What's the point of doing that? For 90 days, you get 10% more, and after those 90 days are done, you lose them. So during a heated argument in the officers' mess hall today, Major General Grimm has spoken loudly out in favor of Franklin Anderson and his ideas about the Enclave's future. A few choice words were aimed at both the mutants of the MCR and our President Douglas Granite. While the officer in question may be a capable leader in the field, we should note the opinion of the commanders we appoint to lead. What they say in the mess hall and over the radio will always affect their loyal soldiers. Demote him? We get less support for uh, intellectuals, which is something we don't want. Pierce outnumber us. 
He is entitled to his opinions, which we lose support or speak to him personally. Uh, loses purist. 50% chance of change in popularity of technocracy. Oh boy. You know what's right. He's unconvinced. Surprised to be invited to pers President's personal bunker for dinner instead. Spears that. That's really hard to read. General Grimm has remained steadfast in his convictions. Oh, well, we lost. Traitors in the Officer Corps. The recent elections have stirred up late latent tensions in our Officer Corps. Many of our most experienced and respected army or military leadership are Navarro veterans, and there's not a man among them who has not lost his comrade there. It's unsurprising. Many of them have been taken in Anderson's message of revenge against the NCR and mutants alike. With the government moving in another direction, tensions are high, and there are whispers of traitors. Oh, my goodness. Secret stolen. Last night, a small group of traitors made off with a vertebrate and almost all of our old military codes. Their communication suggests that they were opportunists who saw a better future in selling the codes than wherever the enclave is headed. Regardless of their intentions, this betrayal is a severe blow. Many old military bases, including the heavily fortified lower levels of the Sierra Army Depot, are now forever lost to us. Good reason we don't need them. Blame the purists. Blame the purists. Well, that definitely set us back. Oh my gosh, that is so not good. That is really not good. Hmm. Hmm. We need more command power to do that. Desert Rangers, cool. A range of disappearance. Oh yeah, I like that one. Hold a small speech. I like that one, but it's better to do this one first. A range of disappearance. Presidential victory speech. Reach out to centrists. Provoke a crackdown. Technocracy, less democracy, more political power. Questions about the NCR. Promise compromises to the centrists. Hmm, do I really want to be a centrist? Let's see, how do we do this? Less than 10% support. Assassinate him. Provoke the purists. We gain justification for crackdown. We already have justifications for the crackdown. Let's switch out to the centrists. Let's try that one. So, there are many among us who, will still, who have still not chosen sides in the conflict. We could reach out to those centrists and the least radical purists to expand our power base. But this will in invariably mean making promises that might compromise on our own vision of the Enclave's future. Well, it'll be okay. So we lose manpower, stability, less oligarchy. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, Mar Mary Orwich is executed on false charges. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun. Ah, oh, let's do that. Sorry, Mary. I told you this person was going to leave. Yeah, I'm just... Mm. Shadow Jack Churchill. Good luck. Good luck. Industry planning. Good, good, good. We're going to need to do this one as best as possible. Uh, improvised tools, of course. Woodworking. Hmm. Organized agriculture. Good. So, they're just a little ahead of us. We lost 10% of our support. But we're really not that far behind, even though they do have more daily gain. Oh, actually, we probably... We want more intellectual support. So, where was that one guy? Uh, fleet logistics. Oh, Army experience gain, that's not bad. Where was that one guy? Um, was he really here? No, no, no. Cool. Over here. Ah, here he is. We want... We need this. Richardson. So, Major Grimm speaks out in favor of Anderson. During a heated argument in the officer's mess hall today, Major General Grimm has spoken loudly out in favor of Franklin Anderson and his ideas about the Enclave's future. Uh, this has already happened once. Wait, this has already happened. Yeah. Entitled to his opinions. I'm going to speak to him personally again. And he's converted! Lincoln would be proud. <laughs> oh, we did it. When in doubt, the second time's a charm, my friends. Uh, and we're going to do this. Even though it hurts our attack and recovery rate right now, I want to just get more daily intellectual support. I think that'd be great. Even though we're reaching out to centrists, but we get political power, which is kind of nice. All right, activity is good. And purists, let's see. Daily elite support. Enclave scientists. Mm, the enclave scientists are not going to like us for a while. But we do get plus 0.2 a day for intellectual support, which is great. Fist fights break out. A heated argument turned violent in the general staff cafeteria today. Unsurprisingly, the topic of the argument was the recent elections. What happened to the music? Cool. Though many claim that he was provoked, none deny that the person supporting the reformer cause through the first punch. This normally insignificant issue is gathering a lot of attention and we've been asked to intervene in an ungrateful position to be in since defending the aggressor would reflect badly on us, but condemning them or condemning him would come across as a stab in the back to the most of the to the most zealous reformers. I cannot speak sometimes. The peers had it coming, both share the blame. There's no excuse for striking a fellow officer. Uh, you know what? Let's do this one. This is one I probably wouldn't do, and this is what I was waiting for. Traitors among our scientists. Many of our best and brightest were once part of the secret projects performed at Navarro and the Rig. For this, they were persecuted relentlessly after the fall of Navarro. None of them have forgotten this. Few have forgiven it. Since the recent elections progress on some projects, 
has slowed down. Laboratory equipment has gone missing, and reports of unpatriotic behavior are becoming quite common. Uh, but you know what? That's why that's that's why I got this guy. No matter how much support they get, I still got plus point two. And we've reached out to the centrists. It appears that the purists have begun spreading rumors that we are looking to compromise with the new California Republic. Some have even dared suggest we surrender to our old and hated nemesis. Purists, moderates, and many, even many reformers have absolutely no intention of letting bygones be bygones. Thus the question is posed during our conference. What to do with the NCR? We have no intention of compromising with them. You promised to not to make peace with them. Dodge the question. You promised not to make peace with the NCR. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling like I want a lot of political power. I can't believe I just said I feel, because I don't feel often. But, uh, hmm. Hmm. Compromising. I mean, honestly, if we're going down this path, Nevada's home, the effect shouldn't be too bad. So let's do that one. Why not? Qu questions about mutants. While we have made much progress in introducing the idea of outsiders as something else than target practice... Many are still unsure about our intentions towards mutants. Rumors have ranged from possible integration of Wastelanders into our ranks to ridiculous suggestions of forced intermarriage between pure and unpure humans. Hmm. It appears that there are many doubting purists and moderates who would be much more at ease after the promise of a peaceful but separated existence, provided the mutants know who is in charge. And so the question was posed. What about mutants? There will be no integration? You promise not to integrate the Wastelanders. What about them? We could piss a lot of people off here. This isn't going to go very well for us. So, the question is about the Brotherhood of Steel. While not as hated as NCR, the Brotherhood of Steel played a major role in the destruction of Navarro and the loss of many of our comrades, brothers, and fathers. It was inevitable that a voice in the room would be raised as to what we mean to do with power-armored Boy Scouts occupying so many of our military bases using stolen government property. Of course we never ally with them. You promise not to fight along the Brotherhood of Steel. They could be pitted against the NCR. Ah, that's pretty good. Dodge the question. I'm going to say they could be pitted against them. That's that's the most logical answer there. Now we can infiltrate the NCR, but that'd be a waste. And consolidate power. More than 50%. So let's go and do the City of Crime. Reno, a wretched hive of scum and villainy, offers both a secure base of operations on the margins of the NCR and the chance to show the world the benefits of enclave rule. And that's where we're going to have a lot of fun. And obviously, the power armor is going to have to remain supreme. Okay, cut these guys down in half. Oh, that's a lot of political power. We can improve working conditions, but we're going to wait a little bit first. Ooh, yeah. What do we got here? I would like some army XP gain. That's always very nice. Artillery. Oh, we're going to need more manpower, too. I forgot. Yeah, that's that's going to be a big issue. Ooh, ooh, that actually hurt the non-core manpower. Reorganize remnants. That gives us a little bit more. Or we can do fools and dreamers, but we can't do that yet, obviously. Well, we can't do that whenever. Maybe. No, we can do that eventually. Eventually. No broadcasts. Reformer. Oh, I forgot. We didn't. We have this one? Entertainment stations. Oh. Huh. Reformer broadcasts. Slavery outlawed. Oh, I can't change that. Reformer. Oh, he would have been better. Boris T. Ooh, this is... Mmm. Sick of it. Res oh, look at that. Rabid purist. Oh, that'd be nice to have, though, but whatever. Politically connected, that's not bad. In the long run, that's really not bad, but let's go and do this first. So, we need to make sure we got enough reformer stuff here. It is better to do this first. Because then you get this later. I don't want to explain it, but this is better to do. Good. And now we are at 43%. And now we are at 47%. 48%. Lovely. Enclave members only... Mm, don't want to do that yet. We can wait on that. Slowly, 47. They don't, yeah, they don't outnumber us anymore. Good. Oh, it's actually still going down. Daily change. Huh. If that's the case, so be it. I will get Boris T. Which means it's going right back up. 0 0.16, 0 0.17, which is very good. Organized agriculture. Uh, you can get the next one too. We get 0 0.83 a day. And actually, you know what? I might just do a reformer broadcast as well. Just to push us over the line. But let's have a little bit of war in our first episode here. I mean, if we don't go to war, I mean, are we really the Enclave? Are we really playing Old World Blues if we don't go to war? Awesome, awesome. 
Now, infiltrate the NCR and about his home. I can't do any other focuses, can I? Hmm, that's not fun. And it'd be a complete waste of time to do this one right now. Suspicion will go down by 35? Well, yeah, there's really no point to do that, so. Uh, oh, weekly war support. That's actually not bad. That's really not bad at all. We could use a little bit more war support right now. And it'll hit research speed and political power. Let's do that. I'm not going to do that yet. Lawless Wasteland declares war on... Hmm. Cool. No occupied territories. That's good. Uh, you guys get down there if you can. You are going to keep this person in place. And you're just going to kind of take territory. Good. See what happens. Oh, we beat the person up. Good. Come down here. You're here to, to be just a distraction. Oh, and there's a lot of people here. There are a lot of people. Well, go ahead and circle that division up there. That's fine first. And take them out. Good. I could do support attacks, but whatever. Nixon, Lovelock. Um, cool. Yeah. Just come down here first. Nice. Kill them off. Now, they could attack us here, but you know what? I'm moving around. If we take New Reno, we should be good. So. Good. And come down here too. Good. I'm actually going to do this as well. Oh, we got encircled. Oh, that's not good. We really got encircled. Oh, that's not good. That's okay, though. Things happen. And let's get rid of this stuff. 91, 93. Let's get on down here. See? Not bad. And if anything, we just encircled this group. And we just got encircled again. Are you kidding me? Game. Game. You keep these guys here. You just do whatever you need to do up there. Yeah, we'll take a couple hits here and there. Whatever. Infantry's even heading up them. That's good. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Break out. Uh, actually, just support the attack. That's all that really matters. Good. I'm still going for new Reno, and we no longer are encircled. And now we got re-encircled. And now we're no longer encircled. Kill these guys off. They're really, really annoying. Losses. Two. Still not bad at all. Good. Uh, what do you just go, come here? Good. Let you guys come in here and just help kill them off. Even though I shouldn't be attacking with infantry. Are you kidding me? Come on. New Reno is very, very, very incredibly annoying. Good. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, help kill them off, please. They're very, very annoying. And now we've lost three. Still not bad. Still not bad whatsoever. Good. Now you are encircled. The fall of New Reno. Thank God, that took forever. Ooh. My apologies. I did not think it would be that difficult, but eh, it is still New Reno. Good. We finally have a factory. Common energy weapons, and then we'll do that. Well, I guess not. There you go. Good. Now, can we do anything else? Yes, we can. I'm going cold turkey. So, the Mordinos are parasites selling drugs and other vices to the riffraff of the wastes. And, actually, since we haven't done too much... Ooh, demote pure scientists. Hmm. Going cold turkey. A hundred right there. Do we still get any more daily gain? 0.44 goes up to what? Nothing. So, we're stuck. Dealing with Mordinos first. The Mordinos long represented the status quo of New Reno, that is to say, criminality, exploitation, cams, and misery. They had many allies, but no friends, and few are now willing to lay their lives down in defense of the chem lords. We may strike quickly and expect only limited resistance, but some have suggested that we should use the Mordinos to de demonstrate we are serious about our old world values. They will be tried in a court of law. Oh yeah, we get more legitimacy. I completely forgot about that. We are currently at... None. Justice is long overdue. New Reno resistance target, more transactions, eh, money, I don't really care about money. Let's get some more compliance, that's that's just better in my opinion. Checkmate? Yeah, it's checkmate. The bishops plotted to bring New Reno into the NCR, that was a mistake. Let's see, and fighting, we still gotta hide from the NCR, but even if we don't complete that, I mean, we always have another little thing that could be 
dealt with. So, for the first time in Enclave's history, we reclaimed an American city. However, New Reno's population does not yet see it this way. While some are hopeful that the gangsters are being pushed out, others fear and distrust of powered, armored strangers patrolling the streets. Minor acts of resist resistance, such as throwing rocks or insults, are not uncommon as unsavory types test the limits of our troops' patience. If we appear weak, small arms may fire may soon follow. Teach him not to mess with the Enclave, we lose legitimacy. Resistance activity chance goes way down. Uh, establish strict rules of engagement. More resistance target. Uh, compliance growth speed goes up. I'm gonna get... Ooh, that hurts our war support. Oh! Ooh, that's not good. Teach him not to mess with the Enclave. You know what? I'm putting him down. Putting them down like the dogs they are. Cool. Checkmate. So, to do this, we need this and 10%. We need more than 50% support for the reformer faction, and then we get stability. Hmm. So right now, we are currently at 47.4. If we just get 3% more, or we could wait and just do this. We lose political power, get more daily intellectual support. Eh, we'll probably just do this. Good. Now, that we're not any higher, but once we get this one, we'll be up above 50%. Checkmate. Putting these guys on the border probably isn't the greatest idea, but whatever. And I don't want to train because I don't want to lose any more... Eh, we got plenty of guns to train these guys. It's fine. Bone Dancers, Shashoni Nation. Cool. Checkmate. Dealing with the bishops. The bishops may have been the most powerful family in Nerino, but Mr. Bishop himself, of course, is a dangerous man for many reasons. One of which are his numerous political connections in the NCR. The crime lords gangsters were loyal enough to face down the other families, but the sight of X-01 power armor set them scattered. He has retreated to this mansion, accompanied by only his closest and most loyal, surrounded by his... Our forces and trap. Focus on capturing their assets. Ooh, factories. Focus on apprehending apprehending the leader. Or, oh yeah, factories are nice, but we're gonna apprehend the leader. And you know, ooh, bribe NCR officials. Currently ten. Hmm. I didn't need money anyways. Time zero. State zero. Fifty. Ooh, oh, that's a lot. Consolidating power. While we are getting the upper hand, the purists are alive and well. It is time to gather all those who still disagree with our vision in one room, so we may address them and their qualms. Many can still be swayed to our side, and we get stability because of that. Good. Uh, just do that for now. Whatever. Extend research shifts. No. No. Oh, well, that construction speed's pretty good, though. Factory output, pretty good. Ooh, nice. A little ahead of time of that. We don't do that yet. We definitely want that. We want resources. Land option. Uh, refined warfare. Hmm... Conventional. You know what? I guess we'll go down refined. Unless you have a, guys have a better idea. Hmm. Nevada refined. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Should we stick with the refined warfare? Maybe conventional warfare. Asymmetric warfare? But I don't know. Let me know. I'm, I'm feeling that we should go down ref refined warfare because we're really going to be emphasizing power armor a lot. But I don't know. Now let's get some warrior training next. Consolidating power is always a good thing. Well, if you're the one getting power. Ah, uh, Jack Shadow Churchill speaks out in favor of Anderson. Uh, so he has loudly spoken out in favor of Anderson and his ideas about the Enclave's future. Uh, he's entitled to his own opinions. Speak to him personally. We're going to do that one. He still remains, remains unconvinced. Ooh. We can't do that one now. God dang it, that actually hurt us quite a bit. That actually hurt us a lot. Holy cow. We're not done yet. We're not out of here yet. So be it. Oh, whoops. That is complete garbage. A random event stopping us. So be it. Old allies. The Salvatore still remember our last time in New Reno. It might be worth cutting them a deal again. Oh, that is such shady business. Uh, these generals, they need to be put down. I swear to God, they gotta be put down. Mmm. Oh, ma map are so pretty nice, though. Seed selection? Good. Very good. Very good. Play working. Vertibird, so none of this really matters too much. Ships can be... Waited on. Scrap that. Old allies. Good. I should have done this one. I should have done that one. But great. The Salvatores have been useful to the Enclave in the past, dealing with us in order to expand their own influence in New Reno. Perhaps they can be useful once again. A puppet ruling New Reno in our name could make the situation in the city less suspicious to any outside obser observers. Mr. Salvatore's old smuggling connections may also prove a valuable resource to us should we decide to keep him alive. Rule the puppet. Oh, more compliance gain. Uh, Salvatore. Salvatore. Is, well, well, which one is this? Economic advisor? No. It's a cultural advisor, then. Oh, well, I don't even know what he does, so he can live under house arrest. 
Stability, we rule New Reno now. That seems a really good thing. Rule as a puppet. I don't want to lose any more legitimacy because we currently have some amount. Hmm. Resistance target. Political power. Well, we can do that too. Why not? Why? Cool. And let's do a shared dream. The right dream of a peaceful, prosperous city. Maybe they can collaborate with us towards a better tomorrow today. Do we get any more of this? A little bit. Oh, again. You know what? Speak to him personally. He's converted. Good. He loses purists. I don't know what's up with it. The second time's a charm, though. Like, what the heck? Ooh, what is this? Ooh, no occupation. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Caravan guards? Yeah. Yeah, definitely do caravan guards right now, because oh, that's not looking good. Multi-purpose equipment. Uh, yeah, do that one. So we get no... Oh, compliance gain is disabled. Oh. Dealing with the rights, though. So that's not good. Hmm. So compliance gain is completely disabled, which is quite unfortunate. Well, then... I guess it just makes the most sense then. So, dealing with the rights. Some say that the Wright family has spent the last few decades building with one hand and destroying with another, but compared to other families, this makes them almost redeemable. Mr. Wright's vision of a more peaceful and stable in Reno is not entirely incompatible with our with out own, but uh, that's not bad. There's no place for his kind here. I'm gonna go with that one. There's no place for him here, because I need factories. And let's go with the new capital. Oh, cool, we get courts, which is extremely important. So. We've broken the backs of the scum that run New Reno. Look how much happier everyone is with Enclave soldiers patrolling the streets. No one complains, not even in private. Mmm, I love it. That's awesome. Deal with the Van Graffs. We deal with them. Lose 3% legitimacy. Oh, we get guns. Cool. If we really needed them. Enclave with the Crimson... Oh, Crimson Caravan. I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to Reformer Propaganda. There we go. One of our patrols stumbled upon an expedition of the Crimson Caravan. The squad leader, less trigger happy than some, has reported back requesting orders on how to proceed. The caravan is not close enough to confirm that they are faced with Enclave power armor specifically, but rumors of suspicious patrols in Nevada desert could reach the NCR nonetheless. Leave them be. No witnesses. Hmm. Go up by five. Political power. Uh, that's fine. Arrange disappearances. That would be good. But now, we get more every day. By 0 .08, so that's actually really good. Yeah, that was really scummy of that one general. <sighs> I should have just killed him off early on. Oh well. Hey, we get some cores though. That's good. And some more stability, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Which will give us even more political power. And we get some manpower. We get to actually use factories. We don't have people yelling at us and screaming and throwing rocks at us. I don't like it when people throw rocks at us. It doesn't it doesn't seem nice. It doesn't seem really nice. And the Royals join the Brotherhood of Steel. Also, I should let you know the mods I'm using. Just Old World Blues and Enclave were born. That's it. So, Wastelanders. With the city of New Reno now fully under control, we're now governing over a significant amount of work at Wastelanders. Since we cannot install Enclave members to every single position of influence in the city, some Wastelanders have begun ex exercising amount of power within our borders. It's inevitable. Uh, fine. Not on my watch, they don't. I really wish I could see how much is here. Now, Enclave population is quite, quite a bit. We should encourage this. Less war support... The Wastelanders. Ooh. I'm not really sure which way this is down here. Hmm. Our new ally. Removes the need to hide from the, them, which is good. State of Nevada. I'm really not sure. So, it's inevitable. I don't want to lose anything, really. Not even war support. But let's get some more legitimacy. So, New Reno slaves. And this will be the last few things we do here. So, during the liberation of New Reno, we've come across a large population of slaves, tricking off a debate as to whether we should allow the practice of slavery in these United States. Although there are those who would say slavery is un-American, others point out that a captive workforce could be a boon to our economy and has historical precedents. As a compromise, we could adopt a vault city's servitude system, providing food, protection, and medical care in exchange for involuntary servitude. But others say that this seems like slavery with extra steps. Oh, they're not wrong. But, you know what? What do we have down here? So, I know with this path... Oh, no, 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 it's down... Is it down here? Ah, segregation. Human. Hmm. Ah, that's a good question. So, slavery, a boon to our economy. Slavery outlaw was organized slavery. Less population, lose legitimacy, output. Servitude is reasonable. We get more construction speed, I like that, but for now it doesn't really matter. If they, want to be, if they wanted slavery, they would have elected Anderson. 
Uh, I guess we'll go with that one. That seems pretty good. And next up, finally, we will do the first brick. Hmm. The Enclave Police sounds like fun. Prepare expansion? Well, Enc Enclave Police. So, Nurita didn't need police when it was run by warring crime families, but establishing the rule of law could go a long way towards giving the reunited states legitimacy in the wasteland. The Enclave can create such a police force to be a model for America. Out with the old or amnesty for service. Well, that's a good one to think of. I don't know which one we're going to do, though. But I hope you enjoyed today's first episode as we begin to reform Nevada. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check, my, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we hide from the NCR and make us more intellectual. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.